Y'all, it is time to go to sleep. And my son does not care. He does not care. <laughs> Hi. Hi. He's rearranging my dresser that I have. And uh, it's just crazy how you will have hella work. You'll have to work so much at work. Come home, still clean, cook. I just finished cooking, cleaning, prepping food for tomorrow. We're going to sleep early so I can wake up and, and exercise. Get this body right. And uh, I took a shower. He's going to shower in the morning. It's just so much to do. But you know what? I think I work more when I'm at home being a mom than when I'm at work being hella like focused and numbers based and obviously relationship based and all these things. I feel like I come home and I'm way more zoned in, but I'm way more relaxed. Does that make sense? Like I just love this time of day where I just know that I kicked ass all day. I had quality time with my loved ones. I got food done. Everything is ready. Bills are paid. And um, I'm just so grateful for my life. And I just love being a mom. It makes me so happy. I love my son so much. Like He just completes me. And he's so smart because his dad loves him. His siblings love him. He loves his siblings. He loves his grandparents on both sides. All his uncles and aunties love and adore him. And I just love the life that I get to build with my son. I feel like I'm getting a brand new life, like a brand new start. I feel like through all my childhood trauma, I'm healing my childhood trauma by being the mom that I felt like I needed for my son. And that's the beauty of having children because you can literally just be a better mom. Not a better mom, because I'm not saying I'm better than my mom was to me, but I'm just saying like, you know, parents are not perfect. And my son's going to grow up to think, you know, well, I'm going to be a better dad than my dad was to me. It's just, we keep getting better and better. It's not that I was a horrible parent. It's that he's just going to fix and tweak what he feels like he needs to fix and tweak. And I feel like we're breaking, I'm breaking generational curses because I love my son so much and I show him I love him so much and in a traditional Mexican household you don't really get a lot of hugs and you don't really get like a lot of I'm sorry's when people are wrong and they treat you like you did something wrong but once everything comes to light and you're owed a sorry you just gotta you just got to get over it and swallow and act like as if it didn't happen. I'm supposed to forgive you, but you never said sorry. You know, that type of stuff right there. So I always make it known to my son when, I, when I'm wrong and I realize I'm wrong, I get down. I get to the level where he is. I make sure we're on the same level. And I genuinely tell him, I'm so sorry that I got mad at you that was my fault i'm sorry because sometimes i'd be spazzing like hello you're getting like ice cream on my sofa and i get upset but then later i'm like i'm so sorry huh? hi baby boy hmm? wow you organized that so nicely Thanks. you're welcome well, oh my gosh you got your dinosaurs in there too no a bag I got the adult. Gotcha. Okay. Good job, puppy. Bubbles. Dad, bubbles. 
Okay, mommy's making a video, okay? I'm almost done. Anyways. I just feel like if you're ever in general, in general, puppy, stop making noise. Downstairs neighbors are going to get mad at you. You're making too much noise. If upstairs neighbors make that much noise, imagine every noise we hear. That's every noise that they hear every time you slam something. He's holding something like, so I shouldn't drop this on the floor? Don't drop that. He's got two things like, so I shouldn't drop both of them on the floor at the same time? So it has double the power? Like, no. I love you. So I'm learning how to be a parent every time I'm more and more patient. But yeah, I feel like if there's ever anything like really different or a big change in your life, I think that you should never give up and you should just keep on going and don't let nothing stop you. And at the very end, you're going to be a new person. So it's like a rebirth. If a challenge hits you in your life, just know that you are in and due for a rebirth. 100%. So I'm going to try and catch these Z's now. And I'm going to lay down and be grateful for the challenges have, that have been given to me. I'm going to be thankful for every time that I was resilient and I never gave up. Of course I gave up along the way, but then you, you talk sense into yourself and you're just like, well, this can't be it. Like, I'm not done yet. What do you mean? So you pick yourself back up and you just keep going and you will surprise yourself. You might, you might end up being better than everybody else. And not saying that that's what matters to be better than everybody else, but... You just don't know your potential until you unlock it stage by stage. And that's what I'm excited for because I feel like I've really unlocked that where it's just like it could feel really bad. But now that I think about my past history, the greater the pain, the greater the resilience. And it's a sad reality. But it's an exciting one, and it's the one that I've been dealt. That's the hand that I've been dealt. So that's how I gotta look at things. But I love it, this is my journey. And um, shout out to all you mommies and daddies out there getting it done. Cause it ain't easy out here. Much respect to the peop to all the parents that you know, or just working every day and working for your kids. And also, I want to take a chance to say real quick, like, you know, I just think about, like, my parents. My parents have five kids. And five kids. Imagine that. Five kids. I feel like one kid is enough. But five? Five kids. We never had food missing. We never had clean clothes missing we never had shelter missing like my dad had two cars growing up a work truck and a going out mobile we always had groceries to the gods like we were never missing anything and we were very well educated and we're very well brought up very well brought up and I just sit back sometimes and it really makes me emotional because it's like, damn. Uh, me and my siblings' parents literally did everything for us. Everything for us. They, they gave up their, I don't want to say their lives, but they gave up everything for us. We were their world. I never missed my mom. Every field trip, she was there. 
every morning she was there to drop me off at school to make sure I ate my food and had breakfast. Even when I had after school program, my mom was always there at the after school program. She loved and adored us. Like they had us with purpose, you know? And it's just like, every time my voice squeaks, my son looks up like, what you crying for? <laughs> okay, wow, good job. Like my son wants to show that he can do this. Ooh, that's awesome. Ah, mommy can't do it, but you can do it. Mommy has to practice to get as good as you. So yeah, um, <sighs> yes, puppy. Wow. Hi. How did you get so smart, puppy? I don't know. You don't know how you got so smart? Yeah. Maybe your mommy and daddy showed you how to be so smart. Okay, puppy, two more minutes, and then I'm done with my video, okay? Okay, say I love you, mommy. I love you, mommy. <laughs> he literally says that to me in the morning when he wakes up. Um, Yeah, so I just feel like I'm never going to get the chance to say that. <laughs> Why do I keep choking up every time I get here? Like, mom, dad, if I never get the chance to tell you guys how happy and forever grateful for having me and my siblings and raising us with good ethics, morals, I want to say it here. So if I ever pass away... You guys can hear it here. I appreciate how you guys were always there for us. And how you guys always showed up no matter what. No matter what. As children. That's why we are confident young adults now we are very confident we are very go-getting because we saw that from you guys uh, mommy, mommy. you guys led by example mommy, mommy. yes baby hi And I love you guys so much. <laughs> I am who I am, good and bad, because of you guys. <laughs> Los quiero mucho. <laughs> I'm gonna get up out of here before I start <laughs> acting like there's onions being cut in here. <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah. Okay. Mommy. I love you. Mommy. Hug you? Yeah. Okay, I'll hug you. Mm. Does that feel good? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hi. Huh? How old are you? Eight. I'm eight. You're eighteen? No, I'm eight. Okay. Mwah. Say bye. Hi. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, bye. And yes, I look like this when I go to sleep.